Vault of Glass is out in its 390 light form, and its challenges are probably the most challenging challenge modes we have seen in Destiny, so let's review them. The first one is Templar, and like many people thought, it is the No Teleport Challenge. Templar is not allowed to teleport at all during the fight, and if he does, you fail. To block his teleport, you'll need to stand in the white beam with the red circle around it. The circle will turn white while you're blocking it, and when it goes away, it'll go to a different location. Continue this until the boss dies. This is much easier said than done, because as you block teleports, the boss will spawn minotaurs. A lot of them. You will have a constant stream of harpies as well, and all of the ads can make things pretty difficult. Here's the strategy. When it's time to block teleports, he will only teleport to one of two spots, either front right or front left. Typically Templar goes right side first, but not all the time. If Templar goes right side, you can use the cover to dodge Templar's attacks while simultaneously blocking the teleport. This one isn't too bad to block. The one on the other side is a little more tricky. You can stand at the very right side of the circle to get partial cover, but what I recommend for blocking this side is one of two things. One, place a Ward of Dawn right on the teleport spot. The longer the ward can last, the better. This gives you full protection for about two teleport cycles, provided you drop the bubble right as the teleport signal happens, and provided you use Bastion. However, when the bubble isn't available, the Relic Holder, our second option for blocking, should be the one who tries to block. My recommendation is to not start blocking his teleport right away, but rather wait a few seconds, then go for the block. The reason is because the shield you'll use to protect yourself against the Templar's attacks won't last very long, and if you go in too early, Templar might end up killing you because the shield will run out. The Relic Holder should also try to be killing adds as much as they can without dying. Unfortunately, this is difficult the longer the fight goes on, and losing the Relic can mean a wipe. Liberal use of Blinding Ward of Dawn is encouraged, with Weapons of Light and any other damage boosting abilities being used on Templar. This fight will not last very long, so burn everything that you have. Here's the fight in its entirety from the viewpoint of the Relic Holder. How much damage is your galley doing? What? More than that. I, no, I mean like, I'm using Sleeper, I'm getting 35. At I mean, you could burn all your G-Horn ammo and then switch. Yeah. Okay, well... There we go. Three, two, one, firing... Damage. Okay, cool. Yep, I got, I got... Perfect. Alright, I'll be there to help you for the next one. Or, uh, after the... Uh, after that one. I don't have bubble wall. I have bubble now. Wait till the next one, next time he casts the river. Okay, there, there's like no ads. Go crazy. Yeah, I got a minotaur on me, but I should be able to deal with it. Coming to your side, Bud Light. Half health. I got the block still on it. Slap them for a bit more damage. Still here to have four bit. Yeah, I, I, I got, I got, I got. Alright, alright, sure. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting your heartbeat done. There's okay. a lot of stuff over here on my side. There's a teleport. I'm still running. I'm gonna Probably. die. Can you help? Good. There's a lot of stuff over there. Checking to see. Do not have bubble yet. I got your minotaur. Okay. I got it, but I got it. 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 Come on, boys. Damage, damage, damage. Just have no heavy ammo. Yeah. Yeah, me either. Okay. I'm going to go launch a couple G-Horns. Alright, go for it. That bubble's going to run out. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to out of everything, so we got to kill him. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You're good. Just keep keep working on boss. Trying to kill your harpies. Very good. 
Oh, that's one. I got one, I got one, I got one. Holy s**t, so many f**king enemies. Oh my gosh. I got one, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Damage, damage, damage. Oh, almost great. dead, almost dead. Just avoid, avoid ads and damage. I wouldn't do that fire, thank god. Oh s**t, Minotaur. It's alright, it's alright. Minotaur's back. Keep going, he's almost dead, he's almost dead. Minotaur at the back, come to you almighty. He's on you, Striker, he's oh. on you. Yeah, so weak. He's so close to dead. He's so weak. Pile it on. Okay, waiting, waiting, waiting. I got a bubble Got it. Okay, after, uh, just, save it for yourself. We're almost done, almost done, almost done, almost done. You don't. Yeah, Bud Light, you wanna, you, you're gonna have to drop it. I'm gonna go over there. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Right. Ooh, baby. Nice job, guys. That's a little, yes. it's a little hairy. Fate bringer, boys. Vision of confluence. I got vision and, and hazards. Okay. Oh, oh. Wow. I did too. As usual, completing a challenge mode will get you an elemental primary weapon of some kind, along with an ornament and the emblem if you do not have it, along with the boss loot if you haven't killed the boss this week. Atheon's challenge, I know it's Atheon, I'm gonna keep saying Atheon because that's how I've been saying it. Atheon's challenge was claimed to be the toughest challenge mode in Destiny, and I think it is very close to earning that title, if not earning it. The Atheon challenge is, everyone needs to kill exactly one oracle during the oracle phase of the fight. No more, no less. Yes, that does mean that there are only six oracles now instead of seven in the oracle section. The strategy here is to move and rotate people out very, very quickly. First off, before you're even teleported in, you should split your team into groups of three. One team left, and the other right. You should always be sitting on the Vex plates before you get teleported in, because you need to have the portals open as soon as possible. Any delay in getting the portals open will cause significant headache, if not a failure of the challenge. Once people are teleported in, players who kill oracles should call out when they get their kill and leave as soon as possible while someone else rotates in. Be sure to monitor the bottom left of your screen to make sure who gets a kill and who doesn't. We've had people who go in, try to get a kill, think they killed it, didn't actually get it, and then leave and cause a wipe. The relic holder should be heading to the exit portal after the ads in the middle are dead to help cleanse as much as possible. Try to cleanse in short bursts to be able to cleanse more often. Essentially, this section is just a blitz to make sure everyone has an oracle kill and doesn't go completely blind. The relic holder should ideally be killing the third or fourth oracle with the super, as those oracles tend to be the ones that get left behind due to people rotating in and out. As soon as you get a kill on an oracle, try to get a cleanse and then leave the area, preferably heading to a predetermined location that your group has decided to meet to do damage to Atheon in case you go fully blind. People on the outside should head inside the portal relatively quickly in order to get their kill and to help with damage. Just be sure not to kill too many oracles. A vault of glass weapon with the oracle killing bonus, which is basically all of them, will work wonders here, preferably a non-elemental version so that you can use something like Spindle, Sleeper, or G-Horn on the boss. Finally, people on the outside should be looking out for supplicants as usual, but you'll probably be leaving the opposite side supplicants alone until everyone has finished getting an oracle kill. Players with long range weapons should try to kill as many supplicants on the opposite side as possible. Here's the full fight with the challenge mode. Oh, he met Stryker. Coming up. Alright, lots coming in. Until someone comes out, don't kill you. I know, Merrick's on his way out. Oh, I'll get this one. Mine is I'm out. Okay. I gotta get on the killer. I gotta get in. I'm just gonna go to middle, oh, I'm still slightly safe. Yeah. I got that Merrick, one. Merrick, I'm in the same boat as you, I'm coming mid. That one. There's more guns now. Just kill stuff if you can. Merrick and I cannot see. Bubble. Step, walk forward. Any of these crits is like crit. Yeah, you gotta hit him on the side. 
Yeah. That's the outcome down there. Really sad. Start timer. Five. Five. Four. Uh, get three, out. Get out. Two, Run. One. And I have. Okay, Venus. God, we're all okay. Wait for all to one side. That one. Okay, next one. I got this one. Went out. Okay, I got this one. Somebody else going. We need literally everyone in here. Okay, in here. Ah. Can't see, dude. Four and five are up. And six. I am completely blind. Okay. I may need Clint to come to me. But I'm really disoriented. There you go. Cleansing here. Well. Alright, cool. Let me go first. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Make, make it happen here. Ten. Kill him. Kill him right here. Or I will. There we nice go. Job, boys. There we go, boys. Got another vision. Piece. I got a time piece. I got double I got and corrective measure. measure. Yeah, I got, I got OG I got vision. Got you have the shader? Yep, time grass. Oh, the oh, shader. Like Dude. All in all, Vault of Glass has the toughest challenges in any raid. The no teleport challenge was always somewhat of a challenge, but at 390 isn't anything to mess around with. Atheon's challenge isn't exactly damage heavy, but is way more communication and movement heavy with everyone needing to be on their toes in order to get the job done. The average group is probably going to struggle a little bit more with the Vault of Glass challenges compared to other challenges in the game right now. But overall, they are indeed challenging. Anyway, that is what I have for you guys on the Vault of Glass challenge modes. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.